Hi guys, so I was recently sent the uh, Creality Scan Ferret Pro, a 3D scanner for me to have a little play around and well make a video of as I'm no 3D model maker so being able to scan things in and then well see 3D print them yeah it sounds like a great uh, a great thing to do and obviously the first thing I think a lot of you guys are going to be thinking yeah can we scan little miniatures um, I know there's a well known brand out there that we shouldn't scan in wink wink um, but yeah can this scanner scan in small items so as you can see it comes in a lovely little case uh, everything's well packaged and nice and tight in there, so nothing's going to knock around. Um, yeah, so obviously starting off with the scanner. Uh, but this one's quite cool. Um, I've had one of these before, but this one's quite cool because it, you can do it mobile. So you can link it up to your phone, which is pretty cool. So you can go outdoors and scan, well, whatever you want to scan in. This can scan in large items. I have seen some people scan in cars, or certainly parts of cars. Uh, but yeah, I'm be doing that today because I try to do it on my phone and I've got a very, very old phone. So yeah, it wasn't quite up to the job. That and the fact that it's minus 7 outside, uh, which is kind of crazy because I'm in the UK and we are having a very, uh, well, a nuts weather time out there. So yeah, I'm going to stay indoors, have this connected to my PC. So you get a whole variety of leads. Uh, obviously some of these do connect this to the PC, some of them connect it to the little handheld device there that's charged up and has a battery in it which is pretty cool assembly is very easy yeah it's just a case of doing a few little screws here tightening them up and I say this bit um, well as you can see the instructions show you exactly what you need to do very simple very easy and I say the fact you can connect the phone um, yeah when we get the warmer weather then maybe I will go outdoors and well see what I can scan outdoors and see how that goes but for this video say I'm staying indoors Got a nice long lead here and this is what's going to connect it to my PC. As I said this really is easy to sort of like set up, get ready, straight out of the box, just a few things to put together and then a couple of leads and yeah away we go. So being a channel all about printing and painting miniatures like this little fellow, good old orc because well I love orcs, um, yeah it's very interesting to see can we scan these kind of uh, little things in uh, to be able to print out ourselves. Um, not that you should do guys because it is a bit of a no-no uh, there is like IP on these and all the rest of it and yeah you'll get told off so don't do that so the only thing we need to do is download the software um, yeah again this is a software you can use either on the PC or your phone and just like setting up the scanner yeah this is very easy to do uh, there's a few little tick boxes here depending on what it is you're gonna scan and just before I have a go at scanning a miniature I want to scan my head because, well, I want to scan my head so I can 3D print it and make myself a little space marine or a little dwarf or, well, whatever else. So, as you can see, uh, yeah, that's my face um, and I'm going to have a go at scanning myself. Uh, although you will see what problems I have with doing this on my own. Um, yeah, so please excuse the, the serious look on my face. This is... Well, it's not me being serious, this is me trying to concentrate. Um, as obviously I'm watching the screen uh, to see obviously what I'm scanning. Because you have to keep this a certain distance away from the object you're scanning. Uh, and the great thing is, obviously on the screen, it shows you whether you're too near or too far. And it is then obviously a case of just moving the, uh, the scanner a little bit away or a little bit nearer. So as you can see on the screen, the idea is you want to try and get it to go green. When it goes green, it means it's scanning. And as you can see there, any red bits are bits it hasn't scanned. Occasionally, if you go too quick, it will lose you. Um, so you have to sort of stop, retrace your steps, uh, and then carry on. So doing this, uh, yeah, you really do need someone else. Because, well, it's difficult to sort of position the camera all the way around your head. And obviously, I'm trying to keep still. Because if you do move, then that's where you're going to have problems. Uh, well, obviously, the scanning sort of software will see... Well, it will try and record you in a different position. So I did my best. Um, I went round and round and round. And I say, this <laughs> this is my serious look. Uh, yeah, trying to get under the chin there, not get all my chins in. Um, and as you can see on the screen, yeah, it did have problems doing this. Because, well, I'm trying to do it on my own. <laughs> so next time, it'll be a case of phone a friend um, and go with that. But I did get something coming out. And bear in mind, guys, this is the first time I've used this scanner. Um, I didn't do any sort of like pre-tests or messing about prior to me filming. I've just gone straight in, filmed this, me using it straight out of the box. As well, that's the kind of reviews that I will do. 
So when you do see me reviewing stuff, um, yeah, it might not be so polished uh, because it is just a guy in his living room messing about with stuff. So I will mention now, guys, this sponsor, this video is sponsored by Creality. But like everything I do on this channel, everything I say, it's all my own words. If something works, I'll tell you it works. If it doesn't work, I'm going to keep them bits in and let you know why it didn't work. So as you can see, uh, it goes through doing this optimization bit. Um, again, I've got a very old computer. Uh, we're talking about, I don't know, 9, 10 years old. And it's barely on its, well, its last legs. So it, it does take a little while to do this little bit. Um, again, it might go a lot quicker if you've got a newer machine. But uh, yeah, my poor old thing, it, uh, it didn't struggle. It just went slow. And when it did finish, this is what we were left with. Um, yeah, slightly freaky. Because obviously this does do um, color mapping as well. So it scans the item, uh, scans obviously the color, and then it wraps that around it. As you can see, I've got a bit of a hole in the head. <laughs> well, this feels really weird. Looking at, it's like looking at the inside of my face. Um, yeah, again, obviously doing it on my own. I couldn't quite get around the back. Uh, glasses. So anything reflective or reflective surfaces or glass, it doesn't pick up, um, as you can see here. Uh, so yeah, I had a few issues with that as well. Again, this was all a learning curve, but this has been my first time. So getting rid of the colour, because that does just freak me out. Um, yeah, the bits it has scanned in, uh, yeah, I think it's done a pretty good job. I say, if I had someone else with me holding the scanner, they would have been able to go around my head a whole lot easier. Um, there probably wouldn't have been the hole in the back of my head or the uh, the bits near the ears. Again, another area that needs to obviously be scanned in fully. As it had problems scanning the glasses, I had a cunning idea. Because obviously these are clear and, well, shiny. So I made my own glasses, <laughs> had a bit of cardboard, and then sprayed them with the, uh, the matte black primer. And yeah, gave that a go. The only issue I then had, again, I tried it on my own. Uh, these glasses, obviously you can't see through them, so I couldn't see the screen. So I had a go, it came out worse than before. So I thought I'd give up on that. Uh, say I'll phone a friend and they can come out and help. So I'm going to have a go at doing a little miniature. Um, the good old orc I showed right at the beginning. I've got a little turntable for this because there are options that you can have this scanning things in from a turntable because it means you haven't got to move the scanner all around. So I clicked scan on my computer and then obviously just let it run. Um, obviously the more it can sort of scan in or the more points it scans in, uh, the better it will be for detail and all the rest. So I let it spin round on the turntable, um, yeah, probably for a, a couple of minutes. So I won't show all of that because it is literally, well, what you see on the screen now for a couple of minutes. So we'll get to the, uh, the end bit. And again, it took a little while to sort of process the whole thing. Again, this is my probably my computer. I would have thought more than anything. Um, I am hopefully looking at getting a new computer one day. Although I've been wanting to get a computer for the last three years. Uh, but yeah, I do need to get one now. So it did its uh, its little business. I'm going to speed this bit up just so we can get to, uh, well, to see how it looked when it's finished. And again, I had it on the, uh, the colour setting just because I wanted to see, well, how it looks or how well it can sort of cope with a small miniature doing the uh, the colour mapping. Um, so yeah, from afar, uh, it doesn't look too bad. You can see that it seems to have captured most of it. Um, and yeah, in colour, you can definitely see, well, you can see everything. It looks not too bad. But when you take the colour off and do no colour to sort of see exactly how the miniature looks, um, yeah, it looks like this dude has run through a, well, a glue factory. Um, and he's got glue all over him or he's melting so yeah it hasn't really picked up a lot of the definition again in color yeah it doesn't look too bad uh, but the actual miniature itself um, for me to print it out it would look a mess I know you probably can take this into other software and sharpen the detail this is where my knowledge of those kind of things is very limiting um, and yet yeah, not something I can do just yet so as I am a bit of a noob to all this, I thought it would be best to start with, well, maybe a larger miniature and one with less sort of, well, nooks and crannies and the like. So I borrowed this from my, well, my daughter's shelf. She gets a lot of the old like Funko Pop stuff and that kind of thing. Um, haven't got a clue what this character is other than him looking like a little, well, a little glow in the dark ghosty. So as you can see, yeah, he is bigger, um, definitely less detail. So, fingers crossed, I can get a better job done with this chap. 
Although I did have a slight concern because he was quite shiny. And again, these things don't pick up shine too well. Um, you can get a spray that you spray on items or you can use talc, uh, which funny enough is something I try to put on my beard when scanning my head in. So again, trying it out on the turntable. Um, and yeah, you can see obviously all the green bits it's picking up. Um, yeah, let him spin around for, well, again, a few minutes. Uh, but then I kind of noticed, because he's on a turntable, it was getting most of his body, but not the very top parts of his head. So once it did go around quite a few re revolutions on his body, I then sort of started to lift up the, um, the actual scanner, as you can sort of slightly see in the screen there. Um, yeah, just to try and get them top bits. But again, you need to keep the thing steady, just so it doesn't sort of like lose track of where it is. Uh, but yeah, good old perseverance and sort of, yeah, bit of taking my time and that. And I did kind of get most of his head kind of in there. And then after it completed its processing, this is what I was left with, which, yeah, I thought wasn't too bad at all. Uh, the only issue here is, obviously, it didn't get the underneath of his chin. Um, again, this is where I think using the turntable, you don't really get, um, well, everything you need to. So, I thought one more try, uh, this time rather than using the turntable, I would use the painting handle that I use, well, when I'm painting miniatures. Just as, well, this is something a bit smaller, a bit easier to handle, uh, a bit of blue tack on the bottom, um, get him to stick on that, and then just hold it up and sort of scan it from there. Um, yeah, so this is what I tried. And doing it this way made it a lot easier to, well, say, move the camera around, just so I could get underneath the dude, um, all around him, over his head, and it would make sure that, um, yeah, he was fully covered. Um, obviously, I would have the stick sort of bit in there, uh, but as you'll see in a moment, you can get rid of bits, which is really good. And the other thing this software does, which I didn't actually try, uh, but I will do in later sort of weeks and days, whatever, um, you can scan bits in, and but then you can merge two bits that you've scanned. So if you scan something, say like my head, and I miss a bit, you can then go and scan the bit you miss and then merge the two together, uh, which is really good. So yeah, I will be trying that. So guys, this is my initial sort of play with this. I will be doing another one of these videos, I reckon about a month or two's time, when I've had plenty of time to have a good old play around with this. Um, and yeah, sort of improve the scanning as well as the after scanning bit. So uh, yeah, stay tuned. I will have another go at doing miniatures. Um, yeah, but I just need to work out more of what I'm doing um, and say the after bit of cleaning the model up and making it look a lot, lot better. So this dude definitely came out a whole lot better. Um, yeah, I've got under his chin, round his head. Say so he's got these few little bits sort of dangling down where, well, it's pretty much my hand or my arm. It kind of uh, started to scan. Uh, but yeah, the great thing is, say so this software that it comes with, fairly simple, fairly easy to use. And like most things, practice makes perfect. So again, like I say, I'm definitely going to be playing around more with this uh, the scanner and the software. Uh, but yeah, so any bits you don't want, you get the old lasso, uh, put it around it, it goes red, and then yeah, click on delete, and it's gone. So again, I think this is where, again, a bit more perseverance, a bit more time spent scanning things in. Even if I had to scan something in a variety of times, merge them together, uh, and then just go around afterwards, cleaning up, deleting all the bits that um, aren't needed. So again, you could take these kind of things into Blender or any other kind of software and smooth them out and do all the rest. Unfortunately, I've never used any other 3D software, so for me, I'm just going to take what I've got, save it, and then just see how well it prints out on uh, yeah, a printer. So I've dragged and dropped it on the software, and say, it's obviously it still had that little bit at the bottom, uh, with the, well, the handle bit, uh, but the good thing is, say, this printer software, it's nice and simple, easy to use, and yeah, you can chop bits off. <laughs> so it is a simply a case of dragging it to where I need it to go, obviously angling it correctly so I can get rid of most of it, but not sort of chop his feet off. And then simply a case of lowering him back onto the uh, the base plate, uh, moving him into a good position, um, adding some supports, and yeah, sending him off to print. And this is what I've ended up with. Uh, yeah, I'm <laughs> I'm really chuffed. Um, I know it's not the best of sort of miniatures to have uh, sort of scanned in, uh, but I'm pleased that I've managed to get something coming out. He does look exactly like the big one, um, and yeah, I'm well chuffed. So again, guys, this is the first time using this uh, this scanner. 
Uh, I will be trying again with sort of smaller miniatures that are more defined in definition. Um, and I say, I think it is more of a case of scanning bits in, merging them together, um, and then obviously tidying them up and then printing them. So yeah, this is a cool little scanner. Um, obviously, it's going to be great for bigger items because it definitely copes well with larger areas. Um, again, I am going to be doing another video in probably a month or two's time showing more of the capabilities of this scanner. But uh, yeah, for the moment, I think it's pretty awesome that uh, simple small miniatures, well, can be scanned in. There are links down below to where you can find out more information about this scanner and the price and all the rest of that. Um, yeah, there's another video on the screen, guys. Give that a click, see more of what I do. If you do like what I do, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave comments down below. You guys take care. See you in the next one. Bye now.